Welcome, you want to watch Canadian TV outside of Canada, abroad, anywhere you are, this solution will work for you. And I'm going to show you how this works for several Canadian TV channels. First, I'm going to show you the problems you face when you are outside of Canada and try to watch the online stream of Canadian TV channels, the error messages you get. And then I'm going to show you the quick solution and proof that it works. And afterwards, I'm going to explain the long explanation and solution just in case you want to know more. So let's start. Let's go to CBC Gem. And as you can see, I already tried to access this page and it tells me this content is not available outside of Canada. Let's go to City TV. And also here, it's loading, it's loading, but nothing is happening. Then TSN, I wanted to watch this video, content not available for viewing in your region. Let's go to CTV, this content is not currently available, blah, blah, blah. And also TFO, if I um, try to play a video, this video is unfortunately not available in your region. So what can you do? Well, below this video in the description, you find links to good VPN providers. Once you install those, you can do the same as I will do now. Um, if you want to extend the list, just click on show more. But I'm using is ExpressVPN and it is available for all softwares, all devices. You can install it on your phone, your desktop, just your browser, on your Xbox, wherever you want. So let's just do this. So here I have the software installed and I can choose a location. As you can see, I already selected Canada here, but I just wanted to show you, you can choose the region. So for example, if maybe you also want to watch British television, you can choose a location in, in the UK. Or if you want to watch French television or any other television, then um, here if you want to watch US television TV stations, then you can do this too. But well, now we want to watch Canadian TV. So um, and also here you have several options to log in or to connect to those servers. So if one is not working, don't complain, just try another one. So some people just click here on Canada in general, and then they're wondering why um, it's not working sometimes just choose a location here or like if one location is not working it happens but then just choose a different server and then connect the other good thing about this software is that it encrypts my complete internet connection so now I'm connected so the internet connection between my device and the server of ExpressVPN is completely encrypted on a military level so no one can see what I'm doing on the internet now and also ExpressVPN is not keeping any data that has a lot of advantages but I will explain this later oh also these VPNs cost something I will talk about free VPNs after I explained why they work so let's just reload this page and as you can see now the navigation is also extended and I can actually see much more than just an error message. Let's go back. Just let's do this example. Pen 15. Then let's try to watch this video. And as you can see, now it's working. I cannot show you too much because yeah. then I will get in trouble with YouTube copyright problems. But uh, let's reload City TV, and well, now I don't have just a loading page. Oh. Well, here City TV. Now I have to uh, provide information about my TV service provider, but. As you saw before, they didn't even do this. So sadly, I cannot show you how to watch this video now. But um, let's go to T 
TSN, content not available, let's just reload this page. And as you can see, now it's loading. Well, there is some advertising. Winnipeg, and now I can watch the this video. CTV, the same thing, I just reload this page. And take some time, but now also it's loading. And this is basically just the trailer. Even the trailer was not available before. But that's just one example. And TFO. Well, and as you can see now. <laughs> now it's playing. Okay. As mentioned before, you find a list with good VPN providers below in the description and you can install them anywhere. Let's talk about why you cannot watch Canadian television outside of Canada. This is called geo-blocking. You can read up on it on Wikipedia. Basically, it's a form of internet censorship. Basically, every website can see exactly where you're entering the internet and where you're from and many other information. Internet service providers, of course, can see anything you're doing. Even if you have a private browser window, doesn't matter. They see exactly which websites you visit, which videos you watch and what you download. And they store this information. And in some countries, they're even allowed to sell this information to other parties. The solution is a virtual private network. Virtual just means that you don't have to lay a long cable all the way to Canada, get an internet access in Canada and then have your private network. It just means all this works over the internet and there are these providers that help with your connection. Other advantages of VPNs, so except unblocking geo-blocked websites worldwide, you can surf the net fully encrypted and anonymous. So even if you are in Canada, you can connect to Canadian servers and then your internet connection is completely encrypted. And in many cases, it makes sense to secure your internet, especially if you use Wi-Fi hotspots. So those VPN providers, the good ones, they don't log any data. It's easy to install the software and you can use several devices at the same time. One small issue you will find when you use a VPN and then you want to you access your Google account, for example. Google will give you a warning that someone anonymous just tried to um, use your Google account from Canada. So you just have to remember, yes, you just encrypted your internet and then try to enter the internet in Canada. So you just have to get, tell Google, yes, that was me. Everything's OK. No problem. But of course, everyone wants stuff for free on the internet. But as you can imagine, having a lot of internet access points in many countries is not for free. And if you don't believe me, there are several articles on the internet about the dangers of free VPNs. Also Newsweek has a nice article about this. Basically, free VPNs are super slow. And in the best case, they spam your whole system. In the best case, they just spam you so much that you don't have any fun using the internet at all. And in the worst case, you can be hacked. In other cases, they use your internet connection for the other people using the same free VPN. And if they do something illegal, the trace will lead back to you. Good VPNs have a lot of advantages. They have super fast servers in many countries. Easy to use apps and plugins for all devices and browsers, which is quite amazing. If you know how difficult it is to program good software for a lot of devices, then you will appreciate this service. There are no active logs, no connection logs, highest security encryption, unlimited bandwidth, and it works with premium websites such as Netflix. And they have a customer support just in case if something's not working. So I hope now you can watch Canadian TV abroad again. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and have fun watching your 
Canadian TV series and shows from anywhere on the planet.